Welcome to the first episode in a Legendarium series about the life of Elizabeth Woodville. In part one, From Commoner to Queen, we will talk about how a woman from an obscure northern family married the King of England. Elizabeth Woodville came into the world during the year 1437 in Grafton Regis, though the precise date of her birth is unknown. This is not only because she was a woman and thus her birthday of lesser importance to the law, but because she came from an obscure and scandalous northern family. Her mother, an eminent noblewoman named Jaquetta of Luxembourg, secretly married a lowly knight named Richard Woodville after the pair fell in love while he escorted her to England. Since Jaquetta previously married an uncle of King Henry VI of England, people at the time considered her to be the king's aunt and her marrying a humble knight caused a court scandal and broke the law because she married without royal permission. An infuriated King Henry VI forced them to pay a hefty fine of £1,000 for their illegal marriage. At the time of Elizabeth's birth, the Woodville name remained a sore topic of discussion within England's eminent circles. In the year 1452, aged only 15, Elizabeth Woodville married her first husband, Sir John Gray of Groby. The couple begat two sons named Thomas and Richard. However, Elizabeth Woodville would not enjoy a quiet family life, for she lived during the Wars of the Roses. King Henry VI proved a weak and ineffective king who allowed his French-born wife Queen Margaret to pack the court with her corrupt flunkies. Richard, Duke of York, led a court party that pressed for better government. The king answered his complaints by exiling him to Ireland. Undaunted, Duke Richard raised an army in Dublin and reformed the court at Sword Point. Despite some initial successes, Duke Richard of York died in battle during the year 1460. Queen Margaret mocked his supposed ambition to become king by mounting Duke Richard's head on a spear and placing a paper crown upon his head. However, Duke Richard's son, named Edward, took over his father's cause and waged war against the Lancastrians, the king's party. Elizabeth's husband, Sir John Grey, remained loyal to King Henry VI and the Lancastrian dynasty. He fought in several battles, including the bloody Second Battle of St. Albans. There, he died in combat and left his wife, Elizabeth, a widow at the age of 24. Even worse, Duke Edward of York promoted himself to King Edward IV, and his followers, the Yorkists, helped them themselves to Elizabeth Woodville's estates, leaving her penniless. Sir John Gray's parents flatly refused to help Elizabeth or her children, their own grandchildren, despite the fact that they promised Elizabeth Woodville money in her marriage settlement. Desperate, impoverished, and widowed, Woodville had only one option left. She chose to petition King Edward IV, her family's mortal enemy, to save herself and her sons. Yet Elizabeth Woodville did possess one asset, her great beauty. She had become a statuesque woman with shining blonde hair, fair skin, and entrancing eyes, greenish gold in color. Contemporaries called them a lynx eyes, or the eyes of a dragon. The story of Elizabeth Woodville's meeting with King Edward IV is something of a mystery. Legend tells that following her husband's death, Elizabeth Woodville stood waiting beneath an oak tree with her two young boys, hoping that the king would pass by. When he did indeed pass, he became so enamored by her beauty that he insisted on making her his mistress then and there.
Appalled by this suggestion, she pulled out a dagger and threatened to slit her own throat should she be forced to do so. Fascinated and tantalized by the woman who dared to refuse a king, King Edward IV instead offered to make Elizabeth Woodville his queen. Sounds like something out of a fairy tale, doesn't it? Well, it could be a fairy tale. Another, far grimmer version of the legend claims that an enraged King Edward IV wielded the knife himself when Elizabeth refused and then forced her into his bed at Blade Point. While this might be mere folklore, it does show the great power the king had and the danger he could put his enemies into. The third possibility is that Elizabeth, hoping to get a pittance from the king to survive, simply played her cards so well that she secured herself a crown. And as scandalous as her parents' marriage had been, the union of Elizabeth Woodville and King Edward IV had to be undertaken in secret on May the 1st, 1464. The new royal couple married at a chapel in Woodville's family home, with only the bride's mother and a few servants as witnesses. Being from a gentry family, Elizabeth counted sheriffs and justices of the peace among her relations, but becoming a queen seemed beyond belief. How will this relatively inexperienced woman from an obscure part of the country fare at the viper's nest of King Edward's court? We will find out in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Channel Legendarium. If you did, press like. If you want to see more, press subscribe. And if you've got anything to say, let me know in the comments section. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope that you have a great rest of the day.